In this video, we will show you the fastest way to replace the neck cork of any of your saxophones. What you need to replace the cork is a thin cork for the neck, contact cement, a sandpaper of approximately 150 grit, a blade, masking tape for painting or electricity, and last, a pen. We want to remind you that please be very careful when using blades or knives that can hurt you. If you need help from an adult or an expert, do not hesitate to ask for it. The first thing you should do is remove the previous cork well. For that, you can use the blade. Make sure to remove the excess dried glue. In some cases, you can use a little heat or something like a benzene from the lighter that serves as a thinner and is not abrasive to the metal of your saxophone. Completely clean the surface where the cork was. Always remember to be careful not to scratch the visible part of your neck. For this, you can use an adhesive tape to protect the neck. Let's go with the cork. Cut one edge of the cork at a steep angle as you see on the screen. Measure the cork around your neck so that it is over the angle that you cut. And make a pen mark over the angle. The mark must be superimposed so that you do not lack cork at the end. Cut the cork over the mark you made. Apply contact glue on the neck and on the cork. The glue of the cork must go on the opposite side to the angle you cut so that the cut is outside the neck as you see on the screen. Let the glue dry for a few minutes. One way to know if it is dry enough is when you touch the surface where you applied the glue, you do not feel moisture or a sticky effect. The times depend on the type of glue. Once the glue has dried, place the corner edge on the neck. Check that it is aligned correctly and fixed with enough pressure as you see below. Start to turn the cork with constant pressure on the entire surface. Lastly, carefully cut off the excess cork. At this point, you can use sandpaper at the junction of the corks so that there is no unevenness. Here, we recommend putting tape to prevent damage to the neck. Test your mouthpiece. If it costs a lot to get it in or not enough, use the sandpaper to reduce the width of this cork a little. It is important that you apply the same amount of sandpaper throughout the cork evenly so that one side is not thicker than the other. Retest your mouthpiece until you are comfortable. We recommend that the thickness of the cork is sufficient so that there is pressure when placing the nozzle. Remember that it is good to use cork grease, as you see on the screen, and the pressure will decrease a bit with constant use. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.